It's an old mech head. Hey you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the south, more specifically, Washington, D.C. I visit a lot of museums, a lot of small roadside museums, medium-sized museums, sometimes larger museums. But today, I'm visiting one of the ultimate museums, the Smithsonian. Now, a lot of times I say, you know, every museum there's at least one amazing artifact worth visiting and seeing. Smithsonian has about a billion of them. So let's go see if we can find some. Follow me. All right, this is the Smithsonian Museum of Natural History. Starting out strong with a genuine Eastern Island head. Wonder if he wants gum. One of the best things about Smithsonian Museums, they're free. Well, not really free. They pay for it with tax dollars. So not free at all. <laughs> that massive whale hanging up in the rafters. Check it out. In this glass casket, they have a giant squid. So they used to have a coelacanth in there, the, the prehistoric fish that was thought to be extinct but then turned out to be alive. Unfortunately, it looks like they've removed him. I asked the information desk. They said he's not on display right now. Aw, oh, shucks. And here's some things you don't see taxidermy too often. A dolphin and a manatee. Squirrels, and up there you'll see something you don't see that often a taxidermy panda. We have a water buffalo having it out with two lions. The Smithsonian has some of the most well done taxidermy you'll see anywhere, but seriously, this mouse looks like crap. Actually, I'm not sure if that is taxidermy or if a mouse just crawled in there and died. And here we have it. The possum, my spirit animal. That is the official Smithsonian possum. the Hall of Human Origins. Look at this interesting statue right here. I don't know what's going on. Meet Homo Florensis. Homo Neanderthalus. That is a genuine Neanderthal head. Hey, that's better. Homo erectus. Dr. Zayas. Oh, look, this one's happy. I think I'm doing this backwards. I guess I'm accidentally de-evolving. Oh man, here's my girl Lucy. Objects 
of Wonder, also known as the restrooms. Alright, and here is Robert Kennicott, a man who donated lots of things to the Smithsonian, including his skeleton. This line right here is actually collected on one of Theodore Roosevelt's expeditions. I find that so crazy that animals that he personally shot are still in museums. Oh wow, look at this. It's another star taxidermy. This is Martha, the very last passenger pigeon that ever lived. She died 1914 in Cincinnati. It's not a good place to keep birds that you don't want to die, but anyways. Here she is. That is crazy. This wallaby here is one of the first taxidermied items collected by the Smithsonian. Dates back to 1838. That is an old wallaby. Oh, look at this demon squirrel eating little demon nuts. Look at all these paleontologists hard at work. I wonder if they're discovering new types of dinosaurs in there. Actually, those may have been animatronics. And there's a dodo skeleton. I always feel bad for the dodo. The bird that was just killed off because it was just completely helpless. Couldn't do anything to defend itself because it was so sheltered. Kind of like me when I was a teenager. And this poor little Carolina parakeet is He's extinct too. Looks really sad. Really sad to be extinct. Sorry, buddy. People suck sometimes. are even scarier with their skin off. Look at these monkey skeletons. Something creepy about a whole case full of monkey skeletons. How tiny that guy is. Looks like Jack Skellington. There it is, the world's most famous gem, the Hope diamond, twirling on its little platform.